In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at the advantages and ways to group objects in your timelines. I have created this very short example, but if you notice, this example begins with lots of items on lots of tracks. I actually have five tracks populated as we start out. I have a major video, I have a transition, I have a particle, I have uh, two objects that they bring in using keyframes, and I also have two titles, all in the first few frames. Let me play this shortly and you'll be able to see all that's going on in the first few frames of this particular clip. We have two items drop in with text on them and then they disappear and then we have a flare and then we move into the next item of the clip. So it's pretty busy. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to make sure that since I've worked so long to get the timings of all this right, uh, I don't want to accidentally move one of these. I don't want to accidentally delete it. Uh, what can I do? Well, I could lock down all my tracks. You simply click the button here and this turns uh, from uh, clear or white to yellow and now the track is locked down but the problem with this it locks down everything on the track so if I have other items over here I can't do anything with them as well so I don't want to do that so what I want to do is basically make sure all of this stuff at least stays together the way to do that is to group all these objects so I'm going to take my left mouse button and I'm going to draw a rectangle. I will click and hold it down and I will move it up and move it over until I have all the items I want together and let go. Now with all of them selected I can right click and click on group objects and what it does it makes all of these items locked together and now what I can do is I can move them together but the other thing I can do I can just click off of them and now what happens is I can't just move one I can't just delete one I can't just edit one because they're all together if I click for example on my video and press my F2 key to edit it I can't uh, because it's part of the group same thing with my title same thing with my graphic object so once I get something the way I want it, it's nice to group it. Uh, the other advantage of grouping things is I can move them all together. Let me, let me assume that maybe I want this not to be at the beginning, I want it at the end. So I can just take and drag, move it to the end. I can move my other track over, I can move my still image over, and then I can move this guy back here, and it's all together. I don't have to worry about wow, I've got all these things to drag and what if I don't get them spaced exactly the way I had them before because of all the work it took and my concern about uh, timing. And so they're all locked together. Now I can accidentally delete them all. If I press my delete key, they're all gone together. Well, that's what control is Z is for. <laughs> that's your undo last action, so that's helpful. But this is a really nice tool you can have when you get a series of items that you want to connect and hold tightly together in a vertical sense um, to move and to modify. Now, if I want to modify any of these components, what I have to do then is I have to right click on any of them and simply ungroup the objects. Oh, now try it. Now, now I can move it. Okay. Now I can adjust it any way I want. And then to get back to a group, I simply highlight them all again, right click and say group. And uh, now they work together in one section. This is a very nice tool as you're editing a complex project and want to save yourself a lot of adjustment and readjustment time in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.